Hi guys, this is Grandma Chief Chief and I'm coming to you naked in view, my home here in Southern Colorado. And today I'm just going to make some boneless um, um, chicken wings for a Super Bowl Sunday. And I just heard on TV where um, there might be a shortage of chicken wings. Can you believe that? Well, everybody loves them on Super Bowl Sunday, and we're not big, big uh, sports fans, but I'm sure um, the game will be on in the background somewhere. So what I have here, we're going to start out with chicken breast fillets that are boneless and skinless. Now, this is a package that um, I told you about Albertsons, uh, the groceries that we go to when they have good sales. This was buy one pack, get two free. How can you, how can you um, deny that? So um, I took this out of the freezer and I'm just going to cut these in chunks. about one inch chunks. So I guess you don't really need to see me um, cut these in chunks really. So what I'll do is wash my hands, turn off my camera, and come back when my my um, chicken is all cubed up, okay? It's a beautiful day here in southern Colorado. Um, the temperature should be about 55, 60 today. The last couple of days it's just been beautiful. And I hope that the weather, uh, wherever you are, is um, to your liking. I'll see you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, I found that I just needed two of the chicken breasts for me and Mr. Um, that'll be fine. And I'm going to salt and pepper my cubes. Okay, and I'm going to make a very interesting marinade for these um, boneless, skinless um, chicken cubes. And um, in a Ziploc, I'm going to marinate these for about an hour. And what I'm going to do is... I have about a, maybe three quarters of a cup plain Greek yogurt. Maybe it's just a half a cup. But I'm going to put the remainder that I have in here. And I would say... Of Greek yogurt, and I have this um, Valentina hot sauce. Uh, you can get it anywhere. Um, it's not really truly super hot, but I want to give it just a kick for my buffalo wings. And I thought that this could come off, screw off, and I guess not. Let me fight with this and come back with you. Sorry about that. Okay, I got the bottle cap off of the Valentina, um, and this is picante salsa. I think it had picante salsa, picante. And I'm going to put about a half a bottle in here. A 
about a third of a bottle. I think it's fine. So I'm going to stir this together with the Greek yogurt. And that's going to be my marinade. Put the chicken breasts in here. And I'm, since I'm home today, I'm not going to put this in the refrigerator because I'm going to be cooking it soon. And I um, really like to have the marinade um, at a, a room temperature if I can, if I'm at home. And that made great. That made a good amount. So um, it was one-third bottle of the Valentina um, hot sauce, um, about a half a cup of Greek yogurt, salt and pepper your uh, chicken, and I'll see you when my marinade is done, okay? Okay guys, my um, chicken has marinated and I'm back here to um, now go to the next step. Our next step is to get some Doritos Jacked or Doritos. Um, I got the Enchilada Supreme um, flavor, but you can get any flavor that you want with the exception of corn. Um, the Just the Doritos corn flavor isn't going to give you that buffalo wing um, results that you want. So what I'm going to do is put my Doritos into a Ziploc and I'm going to crush them because that's going to be the coating for our um, chicken wings, boneless chicken wings. And especially now that there might be a um, shortage of chicken wings then, you know, this is the perfect time to do them yourself at home, new cooks, new to the kitchen. This is easy. Okay, so I'm going to take some air out just with a rolling pin or if you're new to the kitchen and you haven't got a rolling pin yet, a can product or um, let's see. Okay, here. You know, that's what you would do. If you're new to the kitchen, you don't have all your equipment yet. Do that. A cup. Anything. Necessity is the mother of invention. And I think I need a little more. This is also going to give you the color that you want for um, your buffalo wings because also new to the kitchen cooks. Um, you eat with your eyes too. You now if it looks good and you put a little love in there good. Okay, I think that is about right. Now, on a cookie sheet, I'm just going to spray some non-stick cooking spray. Because even though we want to partake with the wings, we don't want a whole lot of grease or, you know, I'm losing a few pounds, a few pounds more. So I'm, I'm trying to do something that's uh, not half so many calories. Um, I'm going to take my chicken cubes. shake off some excess but you still want to leave your marinade flavor on there 
Make sure it's covered. And put it on your baking sheet. Okay, now I'm going to go away and come back after I've done all of that. Show you what it looks like. Then we're going to put it in the oven at a temperature of 350. Um, new to the kitchen cooks, so that's the universal, my universal cooking temperature. You can't go wrong with 350. And I'll see you in a minute, okay? Okay, guys. I've breaded or I've coated the boneless chicken wings. Um, these should come out like the extra crispy in KFC but they are going to be in the oven baked and like I said 350 degrees for um, about 20 minutes or until they're done. So we'll see you when they are ready to taste test. Okay guys, <clears throat> it's been 35 minutes since my boneless buffalo wings went into the oven and they smell so delicious. And they came out so very flaky. I think the next time I would actually put the Doritos in a food processor and crumble it up even more, but it's not necessary. I'm going to take a taste test for you. I have uh, some carrots and celery, which is the same thing that you would get maybe at a restaurant when you order wings. And just a little a bowl of um, reduced calorie ranch dressing. Mm. Very good. Let me try it without the ranch. I think my battery is running down. All I can say is this is a number one.